In this example, we are looking down at a box that is being pulled to the right by two forces. The resultant of these two forces is directly to the right with a force of 5,000 pounds. This is given information. The angle that tension force T1 makes with the horizontal is 30 degrees above, and the angle of tension force T2 makes with the horizontal is an angle alpha below the horizontal. We want to first find the two tension forces T1 and T2 that make up the resultant force. It is given that angle alpha is 45 degrees. We can use this information to determine the components of the resultant force. Personally, I like to use the triangle method, so that's what I will show here. You can also graph these vectors to scale and determine what the forces of T1 and T2 are. But do note that the force vectors here in this example are not drawn to scale. We know the resultant force of 5,000 pounds is directly to the right, so I can draw that first like so. Then I can draw T1 next. Using the tail to tip method, I can draw the end of vector T2 to the tip of vector T1, thus creating a triangle. We know this angle here is 30 degrees. We also know that this angle here is 45 degrees. Since the resultant force is horizontal, that must mean that this angle here is also 45 degrees, because the two 45 degree angles are equal and opposite angles. Now that we know the two angles of the triangle, we can calculate this angle to be 180 degrees minus 30 degrees minus 45 degrees. This angle is calculated to be 105 degrees. Since we know the magnitude of the resultant force, we can use the law of sines to calculate the tension force T1 and T2. We can write the sine of 45 degrees divided by T1 is equal to the sine of 30 degrees divided by T2 is equal to the sine of 105 degrees divided by 5,000. Using this relationship between the three sides and the three angles, we can calculate T1 to be 3,660 pounds and T2 to be 2,590 pounds. The next part of this problem asks us what the value of alpha would be if the tension in rope T2 is at its absolute minimum. That means that at a certain angle alpha, the tension in rope T2 would be at its lowest value. In order for T2 to be at a minimum value, the vector T2 needs to be perpendicular to vector T1. In other words, when T2 is positioned at the tip of T1, the angle they form is 90 degrees. We can easily calculate the angle now as 180 degrees minus 30 degrees minus 90 degrees. We see that angle alpha is 60 degrees. Now that the angle alpha has changed, the tension forces in T1 and T2 are going to change. We can use simple trigonometry to calculate these new tension forces. Since this triangle that we drew is really a right triangle, we can use simple trigonometry to calculate T1 and T2. The tension in T1 would be 5,000 times the sine of 60 degrees, which is 4,330 pounds. And the tension in T2 would be 5,000 times the cosine of 60 degrees, which is 2,500 pounds.